Hey, Samoset Technology. Um, I'm going to explain our first project to you guys. It's going to be a really fun project. I found, I was like, where should I put my phone? And I just found my phone holder. So anyway, I posted, I posted the assignment online. Um, the first part of the assignment is what you're going to hand in a, let's say Monday, all right? So today is Wednesday when you're watching this. Um, that'll give us Thursday, Friday to work on it. You guys can work on it on the weekend. And then on Monday, you're gonna hand in um, the assignment that's attached to the... So, here's what we're doing. We are doing a photography project. It's gonna be awesome. Um, it's gonna give you a new perspective on taking pictures and doing some really cool pictures um, that you probably normally wouldn't take. So, uh, the idea is that you're going to take pictures of geometric shapes, right? So the assignment says, if you're looking at the assignment, you need to take three pictures of um, either a rectangle or a square shape or array of shapes. Um, you need to take three pictures of triangular shapes, and you need to take three pictures of circular shapes. So two of each of those need to be human made, and one needs to be natural made. Now warning, the natural made shapes, especially the rectangles and triangles, they're kind of really hard to find, okay? Circles, not so much. Rectangles and triangles in nature kind of really hard to find so you kind of have to like bend the rules a little bit You might have to cheat a little bit, but yeah, I'm sure you guys can get this because you're all very creative so um, We're gonna take a walk. I'm gonna go right now. I'm in my basement um, We're gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna show you a couple of ideas that maybe um, I I'm gonna run into and then we're gonna take a walk outside and we'll go down to the beach area and stuff and uh, see if we can find some natural shapes but when you're doing this you're gonna to have to be a little adventurous um, big thing is so taking pictures take pictures with your phone is very easy um, if you have a digital camera that you want to use be my guest um, you don't need to I'm gonna show you uh, really cool ways to take pictures with your phone and make them look really professional and really really cool um so big thing uh when i teach photography is when you take pictures don't take a picture and then look at the picture and obsess over the picture and say hmm good no good bad right you take a lot a lot of pictures okay don't go back and look at them until you go home you're sitting down somewhere then you go through the pictures and you can pick ones that you like, pick ones you don't like, pick ones you might want to work on, so on and so forth. So, take pictures of things that you you, you might be like, oh, that's kind of silly if I take a picture of that. But take a picture of it. You never know what it's going to actually uh, come out to be. It might be one of your best pictures. In order to do these pictures, what you need to do is you need to get really close to objects. Okay? Um, get close to objects. Your pictures are going to get better and better the closer you get. Just make sure that the object is still in focus. Pictures of triangular shapes, square or rectangular shapes, and circle shapes, okay? There's a couple of vocabulary words that I put on the sheet, all right? One of them, one I just said, was an array. So you're gonna look up what an array is. And uh, the other one is cropping, which you're going to learn how to crop these pictures. And then the last word is aesthetics and what aesthetics means. Okay, so you can look those things up. And you can, right? So let's go for a walk and see what we can find. I was playing with these colored pencils yesterday, so I decided to pick them up and put them in the in a cup here, and I'm going to take pictures of them like this. And then I think I'm going to stack them into the kind of squares and make a little tower and take pictures of that. Here I am in the backyard. Um, it's colder than I thought out today. So behind me are some logs. So we got some nice circular patterns there.
don't let things go by, right? Everything's gonna slow down to try to find some cool objects. Oh, I think I found a triangle in a mailbox. Talking about, I was walking down the street and I came across this bench. But it's so weird, there's nobody around. Like these restaurants that are usually open, everything's closed. This is bizarre times, man, bizarre times. So I'm on the hunt for a naturally occurring triangle. So most people don't realize that a lot of photography is set up. So don't be afraid to take some things like a stick, uh, some sticks, no, not just one stick. Don't be afraid to take some sticks and make a triangle. Uh, I'm trying to find something that's naturally occurring around here. Look at this cool uh, thing. I'm afraid of some animals gonna pop out at me. Something in the assignment that said it said that uh, you should have like 90% of the picture filled with these objects. Okay, so that doesn't mean that it needs to be 90% when you take the picture. Uh, we're gonna be cropping these pictures. Take tons of pictures. Okay. Um, it's really, it's meant to get you guys out and look at things differently. Okay, I don't think this is easy, right? but I want you to take risks, to get out there and do something different, right? Something you're not used to. I'm talking to you guys and there's a can in the pond. It makes a really nice picture though. It is literally. Oh. So listen, have fun doing it. That's the most important thing. Have fun.